How's it going everybody? Today I want to look at a holster. I bought this holster. It's called the Enigma holster. I actually found it on Reddit while I was searching for a holster for my CR920. And um, I just saw it listed. You got to try the Enigma holster under a post. I said, okay, I've never heard of this. Let me look into it. I looked deeper into it and to find out it's a deep concealment holster um, that uses a chassis system opposed to being mounted to like a belt or the pants. Um, and so for me, I wanted to be able to carry tucked in if I needed to, um, you know, from a work or whatever situation, if I'm dressed up for a wedding, whatever the case may be, I want to be able to carry tucked in. And I felt like I always had trouble and difficulties doing that with a traditional holster that mounts to your belt. So I said, let's give it a try. I purchased the Enigma holster and it came in today. So I said, let's go ahead and give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? They have a 30 day return policy. I am not sponsored at all by them. And um, this is just my honest thoughts about this holster chassis system. It's not really a holster. So the Enigma holster, it's a chassis system. As I mentioned, it uses any, pretty much any holster that is compatible with the claw system so if you're if you have a holster already that has the claw on it or is able to put a claw on it um, you can pretty much mount it to the enigma chassis system so you do not have to purchase a new holster um, if you already own a holster that has a claw just go ahead and purchase this system it should mount just fine um, they do also sell holsters as well if you want to pay i think it's fifty dollars you can do that as well this particular one that I am carrying and I don't know if you can tell I'm putting my arms back so you can see that I am not trying to hide this thing and I chose my the most worst shirt you can possibly wear when you are carrying because this is polyester I, I mean it's thin it will print anything that you are carrying and I chose this shirt on purpose just to show you how deep concealed you can get with this chassis system so again um, this they do have light bearing holster options, so if you want to carry a light, you would have to use their holster options, but other than that, they have the Express that comes with the holster already mounted to it, and then they have the Standard, which is the one I have, which you can use with a holster you already own. So again, I don't know if you can even tell that I'm printing, but I, I sure can't even when I'm looking down here. So here we go. Again, the gun's not loaded, already cleared for you safety people. <laughs> Right, and I'm sorry you guys had to flash you there, but I just want to show you how deep concealed this is. I mean, it's it's almost along my belt line, and it just holds it there to my body. And, and honestly, it's it's amazing. I thought that when I got this thing, I was actually going to hate it. Um, you know, I thought it was kind of like a gimmicky or scammy, and, and I didn't know how it would actually work out. But it actually worked out quite well. I was quite impressed with how it worked out. Um, some things to note about it. It is a pain to set up. It is absolutely like horrible. They don't provide instructions. You have to um, scan. I just scanned. There's like a QR code. It doesn't even tell you. Ignore the chicken in the background. It doesn't even tell you to scan the QR code to find instructions. So I literally had to Google it and YouTube it and I looked on their website and then I found it. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. I found it through the QR code, but you still have to do quite a bit of navigating to find it. It just wasn't very intuitive to, to find the instructions for it. And again, it was kind of a pain and a hassle to put this together. It's not, it's not exactly the most easiest thing on the planet, but this dog here is, is being a part of this shot here. So, um, so it's not the most between the dog and the chicken. I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, um, it's not the most easiest holster to, uh, chassis system to put together, but it does work. And I can say I will be using this. It is absolutely fantastic. I have full mobility. I mean, I can, I can squat, I can sit, I can move my legs, and I am comfortable. Um, it, it holds me well. It's not stabbing me in the gut. It sits low enough where it sits out of the way. I mean, it, it's a great holster. Like I said, not, not maybe the most easy to assemble, but great holster for concealment. Um, the leg strap for me does feel a little bit, I do feel it. Um, maybe I'll loosen it up to see if it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, so the leg strap is all right. Um, but overall, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with it. It feels nice. So I definitely recommend it for those who want to wear gym shorts, tuck in, um, dress clothes. This is, this is a great holster. I mean, 
I might just make this my primary conceal holster going on uh, going forward from this point. So we will we will see if that becomes the case. Um, I do have some time to continue trying it out, and if I do have any other thoughts or negatives about it, I will let you guys know. But overall, very impressed with the Enigma holster. Shockingly, pretty great holster. So. All right, guys, take care, and next time we'll look at my next toy that I have coming in. It's the DR920, and it should be here within a week now. So I will post it as soon as I get it and compare it against the Glock 17. Super excited for it, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, y'all.